Hello everyone, we are in week five and we get to go into more eggs with your Western omelet and we get to get into a bit of baking with your pancakes. Now for those who are nervous about baking, don't be. This is a great skill to learn and to know. It has definitely helped me throughout my career because not only did it provide job security because I knew every single job in the kitchen, uh, it also helped really give me that insight to how much product and waste could potentially happen in the entire operation itself. And that is a really great thing to know as a business owner, as an executive chef, as a manager. So remember that when you're doing your baking and once you do look at it, like how much product is being lost, this is where it's a great time to start thinking about problem solving, how you're going to turn that into a viable product. You know, for your pancakes, we, you don't want to overmix because you don't, you want them to be nice and thick and fluffy. Uh, but what happens if you do overmix and they're super thin pancakes, what are you going to do with that product? Are you still going to serve those thin pancakes or are you going to make a new batch and uh, give people the proper fluffy pancakes that they are expecting because they're expecting that consistency. Well, for uh, for me at the B&B, &B, if I made flat pancakes, I knew I'd have, if I knew I had kids, I would turn them into little silver dollar pancakes. They loved having mini pancakes. I would do little pancake um a little amuse bouche of a pancake and do like a little tiny, tiny one uh, and do kind of almost make it like a canapé with that pancake uh, for the guests to enjoy before I served them the actual, you know, their entree. Uh, so you can turn it around and turn it into a viable product still. Uh, but the key thing is, especially when you're doing assignments, remember, if it doesn't turn out, you have to say what parts uh, didn't turn out and what you would do differently. Before that happens, though, I expect all of you to do a tester. Testers are important, especially with baking, because you don't want to waste an entire batch of product. Um, because you didn't first test it out to make sure that it was okay. Because as a batter, um, you still have that ability to make adjustments and to fix things. But if you bake off everything, you don't have that opportunity to fix it. Uh, so that's where getting into the habit of doing a tester is really important. So let's start that now this week. Uh, for your, uh, for your week on the main page, we have our research materials, your knowledge checks, and your conversion knowledge checks. Remember, these are worth points, so get those done. We also have our live session archive here, and we have the assignments here. Remember, the assignments are due on Tuesday at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time, so get those in early have pancakes and omelets for breakfast like this weekend and get the practice in practice 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 if anybody has any questions please reach out you can always call or text and we can go through everything together i hope everybody has a fabulous week and enjoy your omelet and pancakes